All right, what's up, everybody? We are at River Oaks Golf Club in Statesville, North Carolina. Got Jeremy here with me. We're gonna do a little match today. Jeremy's gonna ha get 18 strokes, stroke a hole, and we're gonna see what we can do. Jeremy is a... Plus 16.5? Not a plus 16. No, 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 no. <laughs> there goes. Like You're that. a 16.5. Uh, I have to put it in Jen to see exactly what it comes out to, but I'm a plus 2.5, so we're just going to call it 18, and he's going to get a stroke of hole. All right, so here's what the first hole looks like. 353-yard par 4. Everything kind of funnels to the left. Up the right side, kicks off back into the fairway. There's a pond short, and then there's the green. So unfortunately the range is closed because their picker is down, but uh, here at the end of the round, I will show you all the driving range. It's pretty cool. It's just straight downhill, really cool looking driving range, but um, putting range is kind of small, but it's good. All right, so here's Jeremy. He is playing one tee box up. He's playing the white tees. I'm playing the backs, the blues. That's cutting. Right side should kick off that hill. I lost it. Where'd it go? All right, so we both kicked down to the fairway here. We're gonna go get a yard. It should be about 120-ish, I'd, I'd imagine. All right, so here's Jeremy's second shot. Kicked off the mound. So if you hit it up the right side like we did, everything just kind of cut, kicks back down here to the middle of the fairway. Jeremy's got 120 yards. So he's going to hit a knockdown pitching wedge. Oh, it's going a little left. Whoa. Very long. A little long. All right, see what he can do from there. All right, so I got 115. I hit a little knockdown 50. <laughs> all right so that was a really good shot into this green uh jeremy is a little long uh a little long and left so we'll see what he can do when he gets up there remember he gets a stroke here he gets a stroke on every hole so he's hitting his third shot technically hitting his second shot now so uh still room for him on this hole see what we can do all right so this is what Jeremy is looking at here. Uh-oh. Hit it. Settle. Oh, hit the sprinkler. All right, let's see what he's got left. Yeah, it went off the front. And there's a, yeah, there's a bunker down here. Oh, you're, you're fine. You're in between the bunkers. All right, so he went down there in between the bunk bunkers. All right. All right. Fourth shot for Jeremy. That's better. Get up the slope. Oh, yeah. Well done. All right, so he's got that for five, net four. All right, Jeremy's got this for bogey net par. Oh, just a little too hard. All right. Just left it high. Can I get your ball? That wins the hole for me. All right, so that puts me one up. Jeremy makes double net bogey. I make par. One up through one. 
on to the next. All right, there's the flyover for the hole. Par five, pretty straight away, slight dog leg there towards the end. Another really good hole. Playing at 539, about 520-ish to get to the front edge, 525 to, the, to that spot right there. It's a very good hole. There we go. It's fading down the right side a little bit, but should kick hard left. Yep, that should be really good. Good shot. All right, so here's Jeremy's ball. Bounce off the slope over there. Back to the middle of the fairway. Can't see the green from here, uh, but according to the golf cart, he's about 250, 253. I'm right over here in the left rough. I'll have a little bit of tree trouble here, but we'll see what we can do. Jeremy's gonna go first. Easy. That's over on three tee box or around there. All right, I've elected to go with hybrid. I'm gonna try and just draw it around this tree a little bit. Um, not a lot of trouble down there, just that bunker really, so. All right, so Jeremy way up here, somehow managed to stay in. It's right. Somewhere over there, not totally sure. Okay. Fourth shot for Jeremy. Go, go. Okay, got to look. I actually did manage to put it on the green, so I got to look at Eagle. Jeremy is putting for par. Look at Eagle here. Break back right. All right, so I'm in for birdie. Jeremy's got to make this for par and net birdie to tie the hole. Good roll. Just short, so. All right, so that puts me two up through two. Beginning to think I might need to be giving him more strokes, so. We'll re we will reevaluate after the nine. All right, so here's the flyover for hole three. It's a par four, 392 yards. Kind of like the first couple holes. If you hit it down the right side, it will kick back to the fairway on the, down to the left. There's a pond just short. Overall, another really good hole. Cut around it. Okay, maybe. He cut around that tree, kinda. We'll see. Go. Just short. Jeremy gotta kick off the cart path to here. Me a little short left there. All right. All right, Jeremy's third shot here. Yeah. 
<laughs> clean, huh? Right, Jeremy is way up there for his fourth shot. If he finds a way to make this, it'll be a net birdie. Oh, that's actually... Go, ball. Go. Keep coming. All right, now chill out. Eh, not terrible. Not a bad roll from that distance. All right, Jeremy for five, net four. Stay up. Oh. That's good, Jeremy. Yep. Roll. All right, so that puts me three up through three. Uh, one under par so far, and Jeremy is now two over par net. <clears throat> Let's check out what number four looks like. Par five, straight up the hill. Only 492, but it plays longer than that. Four for Jeremy. He needs to turn it around somewhere here. There it is. It's going to be right side of the fairway, maybe right rough, but should be perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. Good shot. All right. 225 playing uphill. Second shot for Jeremy. Oh, it's pulled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, shot. All right, so I got 213 playing 230. Oh, I missed it. All right, bunker. Wasn't my best swing there, but par five, so still a chance for birdie. Get up and up and down for a birdie here. And, uh, See if we can see if we can win this hole too. Go four up through four. All right. Third shot for Jeremy. Could be really good. Come on. So there's Jeremy's ball. Good shot there. Chance for birdie net eagle. I am in this bunker over here, which Jeremy will record that shot. All right, Jeremy here for birdie, net eagle to win the hole. Good roll. Yeah, par net birdie, so I got a birdie putt to tie the hole. All right, so that ties the hole with birdie. So three up through four now. On to number five, par three. So I'm getting 197 playing 204 from my tee box. So I'm going to hit a five, I believe, and uh, see what we can do. All right, Jeremy's got 185 playing 190. Have a nice five iron, nice smooth swing.
Ooh, cutting back towards the hole. Was it enough? Ah, oh, just in the bunker. Hit it a little thin. Not bad. So I've just spent the last two minutes looking for my golf ball, thinking there was no way I went long, and even checked the cup, even though it was nowhere near it, and I just found it. It's a hole in one, sorta. I'm not sure what the chances of this are, but that's my golf ball in this hole. What's the ruling on that? Third or second shot for Jeremy. Oh, hair thin. Hit it. Settle. Uh oh, here it comes. Back down. Okay. Not too shabby. Chance for par. Net bird. For par net birdie to win the hole. That's good. Oh, oh, good roll. That's good. All right, that ties the hole. Three up through five. All right, so here's the flyover for hole six, 369 yard par four. Dog leg left. Hit driver the other day and I was in a good spot, but I'm gonna hit three wood today. 353 to the front of the green. Um. Oh, it did kick out? Yeah. All right. That was not good. Turned it over a little too quick. Didn't hit that very good, but it kicked out in the middle of the fairway according to Jeremy here. So let's go see what he can do. Really high, but cutting back to the middle of the fairway should be just fine. Long way in. It'll be all right. So this is what Jeremy is looking at. Cannot see the green, but let's go look at the GPS on the cart and kind of get an idea what he is looking at so that little dot right there is my golf cart about where his golf ball is so obviously as you saw it is much more of a dog leg in person and there's more trees than what the gps shows but it's got about 190 yards to the flag about 180 to the front of the green oh boy We will see what that does. All right, so got a lucky break off out of the trees there. This is what I'm looking at. I got, according to the car, I got 135. I'm going to shoot it here in just a sec, though. All right, got 140. So I'm going to hit pitching wedge here. I thought that was all over it, and it barely got on. Got a good kick. I got to look for birdie, but... Yeah, that's our shot. <laughs> yeah, hit this thing choppy. Oh, it came out soft. So that was his third. Fourth shot for Jeremy. Uh-oh. I don't like what he's doing here. All right, fifth shot. Nice, so that's for six net five, so I gotta make this two win the hole. All right, that puts me four up through six. I'm two under right now through six. 
So let's see if we can keep that going. This next hole is a cool par three. Uh, won't be able to see anything from the tee box. Uh, so I'll have Jeremy do some handy camera work here. But uh, it's a good short par three. I think I hit pitching wedge the last time I played it. You can also hit gap wedge. It's, it's a good hole. Playing 122 for me. I'm going to take a little off of a pitching wedge here. Just long. Playing 112 for Jeremy. He's got gap wedge. Maybe got a little under it. Yeah. Thought so. All right, there's Jeremy for his second shot. This is what he's looking at here. Oh. At least he got out. That's a tough shot. It all runs away from you here. So, yeah. Ooh. That was a little nippy. Well done. He's got that for bogey net par. Daddy, look at my sticker book. Look at my sticker book. Ah. All right, Jeremy for par net, or for bogey net par. And he pulled it. So that brings me to five up through seven now. Two holes left on this front nine. Let's see what we can do. All right, so there's where my tee box is right now. Kind of see the hole out that way. There is a box way at the top of that hill, though. And that is where the blue tees are supposed to be. So here is a flyover of the hole. Good hole, 391 par four. And another hole that I'm probably just gonna take three wood up the left side. Oh, you're safe. Yep. I'm so scared of popping up. All right, tee shot here for Jeremy. Wait. I think you'll be okay, actually. I <laughs> cut it. <laughs> oh, all right, I got 120 yards here. I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. All right, I gotta look at birdie here. All right, Jeremy's second shot here. Little pulled. Is that bunker? Yep. Good boy. Tough shot here for Jeremy. This is his third. Oh, great out. Yeah, well done. Jeremy's putt for par, net birdie. Pushed it. Right. Settle. Wow. The sand is speeding that up. Yep. Top dressing. Yep. Ah. Uh, it hobbled. Right, of... Jeremy's putt for bogey. Net par. Oh, no way. good <laughs> oh that's highway robbery right there yeah, it is good speed on it too unfortunate all right on to number nine i am i don't even know i've lost i think i'm six up I'm pretty sure i won that hole that was a double for him so um, six up through nine or through eight. Uh, number nine is an interesting hole to say the least. 
Um, I'll show y'all here in just a second. My tee box is right there. I got to hit it that way. Um, good hole. Good hole, but weird hole. All right, so here's the flyover of the hole. It technically is drivable. Sorry for the glare here. It is technically drivable, but it is not worth going for. 309 to the front of the green. 315 total yardage, 322 to the back of the green. Uh, but again, not worth going for. Okay, so match aside, I got a pretty good round going. So I hit three wood here the other day and I actually hit it through the fairway at the bottom of the hill. I still made par, but I'm gonna hit hybrid today. It's just not worth hitting driver at it. I can't carry it 300 yards. And like I said, three wood did get me through the fairway the other day. So I'm gonna try and just hit hybrid here to the middle of the fairway at the bottom of the hill. My name is Jeremy, and I drive greens. Oh, no. You know what? You might have cut that enough to get back to the middle of the fairway. <laughs> the that slice might have worked out for you. There, no. The ball straight, that was there. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Okay, so I found my golf ball, and I'm not a fan. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's me. Found my golf ball, not a fan. Tough lie here, tough shot, but see if I can make something happen and keep this bogey-free front nine going. All right, that is not ideal. That has gone off the back of the green. All right, Jeremy's second shot here. Ooh. Oh yeah, great shot. Thank you, sir. Well done. All right, I have a very tricky shot here. Uh, I hit it up almost to this wall right here. I have a sand and a swing, so I don't need to take relief or anything, but this is not going to be an easy uh, up and down. There's a slope right here, uh, right there. Not going to be an easy up and down at all. Come on down. Come on down. All right, for birdie net eagle for Jeremy. Oh, this could be good. Oh, just quit. So that's gonna be par net birdie. So he will actually win the ninth hole. And uh, I'm gonna put mine anyway, see if I can make this uh, bogey free front nine. Hold it. Ooh. Okay, unfortunately my phone is not cooperating with me too well. Um, it's very hot out here and I don't have any way of keeping my phone cool. Uh, and he's gonna kill me for this, but he's hitting a lot of golf shots, so. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is gonna be a nine hole video. So we will try and do a back nine out here at some point. Uh, I will certainly try and get a back nine video out here at some point. If you watched my TikTok live the other day, I did play uh, the back nine out here. So, but I will try and get this. This is a great golf course in the Statesville area. It's probably one of the better public tracks in, uh, the, in the Charlotte area, like the greater Charlotte area. We're in Statesville, but about 45 minutes to an hour north of Charlotte here. Um, hey, there's my car. And that's Jeremy's car. And that's my car anyway um yeah it's fantastic golf course uh so if you ever get a chance to come up to the statesville area and play this is definitely one of your better public tracks uh outside of charlotte so it's a little bit of a drive outside of charlotte but still definitely worth the trip 
Hope y'all enjoyed this video, waxed them, but we will try and get a back nine video at some point. Unfortunately, my phone is overheating and losing battery and I don't have a way of charging it on the golf cart. So thanks for watching guys. Jeremy. Thanks for watching me be amazing. Sure. See you guys. All right, so we just finished up. I'm gonna show you all the driving range as promised. Um, ended up shooting 71, shot even on the back, couple bogeys, couple birdies. Finished with the birdie to get back to even on the back, uh, one under for the day. And uh, we kind of quit keeping Jeremy's score, so I'm not totally sure what he shot. Let me show you the driving range, really cool. Three tiers, all downhill. Pretty cool practice, uh, pretty cool driving range, honestly. Um, so let me flip it around here and show you. All right, so here is the driving range on the mats up here, up top. And then you got one and two other tiers down below. Still hitting all downhill. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool driving range here. And then I think back there, they got a practice area. I don't know too much about it. I haven't been back there, uh, but it just looks like a grass teeing area to hit kind of back this way. And then over here, we got the putting green. So my one downside to this is that they don't have holes on the putting green. I am not a huge fan of not having holes on the practice green. It's just a personal preference. I like having something to aim at and I like seeing the putt drop when I'm proud. So that's just me. Other than that, it's a good putting green. Rolls pretty consistent with the, with the golf course. They got their range machine right there to get range balls. And one more look at the driving range right here. Like I said, the driving range is closed. Apparently their picker is down right now. So unfortunately we could not hit range balls today, but that's okay. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I know it's been a while. Uh, I keep saying that I'm gonna do more videos and then I kind of stall out. And the truth is the editing process takes a long time. I do all this by myself. Uh, I do it all on my phone. I don't have any fancy equipment that, you know, I don't have any fancy mics or anything or fancy editing software, but in the, the day, it's just a lot of time and I have two kids, one on the way. It's just not easy for me to get all this done uh, by myself. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. So that's kind of why I don't get on here is uh, do this as much as I would like. Uh, eventually, maybe one day I'll be able to have somebody do this for me. Someone that's better at it than I am, but that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Use the link in all my social media bios to go to primogolfapparel.com. Get 15% off of your entire order uh, using code PEDO15. You can use the link. It's on my Instagram, TikTok. Uh, might be on my Facebook. I don't even know. But if you follow me on any of those social medias, use that link in the bio. Primo Golf Apparel, code PEDO15. My code did change. There was an issue with my code couple months ago had to change it so i could stay uh, a brand ambassador um i have been a jogger guy for a while now but i am finding myself to really like their traditional fit pants that's what you saw me wearing today uh super comfortable lightweight it's just really hot out here so i do it to myself i'm more comfortable in pants than i am in shorts so probably will very rarely catch me in shorts on any kind of video but uh use that link in the bio thanks for watching guys see you soon also one last quick shout out to tony he is the owner here he's the one that asked me to come out and record today um so i will get this uploaded eventually <laughs> hopefully soon i'm gonna work on it here little by little over the next couple days and hopefully get it to you out out to you uh, a week from recording but uh thanks for watching guys shout out to tony here at river oaks he is the owner and uh and the entire staff here at river oaks uh great great people out here